Hello everyone, welcome back. In this clip we're going to build a UV map of Gruffman. Now for those of you that have done this work before, before the newest versions of Maya, you probably remember that UV mapping was really not a pleasant experience. Things have gotten better, much, much better. So I'm going to go to polygons and I'm going to bring up my UV texture editor. Yep, it's spider webs. That's because we've built this polygon by polygon and that happens. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to UV and I'm going to create my UV Actually, I'm going to go camera based. Okay, and that's going to create this shape right here. Now, this shape right here, we're, first off, we're working on it on, in what's called halves, what do I call it? It's the half head. So that's going to give us some, a uh, little bit of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's going to give us an advantage because we don't have to do both sides at once. Uh, but what I'm going to do is, I'm, first thing, I'm going, to, I'm going to start to separate out pieces. I'm going to clip pieces. I'm going to cut out this first piece by, and what I'm doing, all I'm doing is I'm double clicking along the edge, along the bottom edge, wherever it hits the corner of a polygon, it's going to stop. So I'm just going to go right around the edges here. Now this used to be a huge chore in earlier versions of Maya. And then I'm going to go up here and I'm going to cut. The other thing that I'm going to do, because this will make things so much easier to see, is I'm going to go to display polygons and I'm going to go to dis display polygons uh, texture border edges okay and that's going to allow me to see what I've cut and it's going to make this operation even smoother I'm going to click here and I'm going to go to right click and choose to shell and I'm just going to move this out of the way okay now here's where it gets interesting what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to go to unfold now if I, I'm going to go to Unfold, and I should see the Unfold 3D method. If I don't see it, that means that I've got to bring that bring that plugin in. So I'm going to go to Windows Plugin Manager, and I'm going to go down to Unfold 3D Bundle, or DLL, or whatever it's called on the PC, and make sure that that is loaded. It should load by default, but sometimes it's not. I'm going to un make sure that Unpack is unchecked, iterations of one, Prevent this, all this good stuff, that's fine. Click Apply. Okay. Now, that gives us a shape, which while it's not perfect, it's really not bad. It's actually pretty good. Okay, that is the bottom of our model set up and good to go. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out some pieces that I know are going to give problems. Okay, what, it, what, what, what do I, we know is going to give problems? Well, it's going to give problems, and again, working in this tiny window makes it kind of tough. It's going to give us problems are these, the parts of the model that aren't facing outward. So I'm going to click there. All right, that, I'm double clicking on that edge, and what's going to happen is that's going to create a shell along these outlines and that's going to help when we unfold the head it's going to work a lot better so i'm going to click i'm going to cut here then actually i'm going to hit space bar so i can have a little bit more space here i'm going to go to uvs and i'm going to click anywhere i click on a uv in the shell then i'm going to command click and go to two shell and i'm going to move this out of the way and i'm going to unfold it see what i get wow those of you that have worked with Maya before know that this is this operation is kind of tricky. Doing the unfolding is really sometimes can get could get used to be able to get mighty unpleasant, but it's gotten a lot better. I'm going to go to the eye hole or the eye cavity, and I'm going to double click and hopefully get an edge going all the not quite all the way around. I'll go to right there. I don't know whether you can see it, but you want to make sure you get an edge that goes all the way around. And we'll see. Yeah. Actually, I think I'm going to want to cut there. So I will hold down my con control key and deselect that edge. I'm going to leave this be part of that front, front part of the eye. I think, I think, yes, we'll do that because it's facing outward. I just want the inside here. I want to cut the inside out of this. 
and I'm going to cut it. Go to UVs. Click there. Right Command, right click, and choose Shell, and move this out of the way. Now, to, to, to unfold this, we are going to have to make a cut. I'm going to decide where I want to put this. I think I'll cut... Go to the edge. I'm going to double click on the edge and that should go around. I don't need to go all the way around. I just need to open this up a little bit. So I'll, I'll go hit four so I can see what's selected. I don't want that to get cut. It's the inside of the eye, so it's not going to be a huge deal. I'm going to cut, go to UVs, select them, click apply. And there we go. And it unfolds nicely. Okay, remember, for those of you that have done UV mapping before, you know that what we're looking to do is we're looking to basically create a, a shell, create shells that have the same, where the polygons are cl as close to what you see in 3D space as possible. Okay, all right, so the next thing I want to do, I'll press 6, is I want to get the nostrils. Okay, there it is. This one I should just be able to double click, cut. UV map. Hit the wrong. Uh, that was wrong. That's the one. That uh, my, uh, that happens a lot. This is the one you want to hit. Then go to UVs. Click there. Go to shell. And move the nostril out of the way. We'll try. We'll try unfolding it as is. Yeah, that'll work. All right. Now the ear is a little trickier. The ear is going to be a little bit more, a little bit more work, but not much as long if we're careful. I'm going to grab the edge and I'm going to double click from there to there. I'm going to go to the back of the ear. I'm going to try and follow. I'm going to hit F to center my view, and I'm going to try to follow this manually. Click on the bottom of the ear. There we go. That was easier than I thought. See, now I've got that cut all the way around. I'm going to cut, split it, UV map it, go to shell. Go to shell. There we go. And pull the ear off, Van Gogh style. Now, to unfold this, probably the easiest way to do it is to double click on this edge at the top and at the bottom. Go to about right there. And go to there. All right, now what, what I'm doing is I'm now going to split this along the top and along the bottom and so allow it to unfold like a book. We'll cut there. Go to UV map here. And click apply. And there we go. That's exactly what I wanted. All right, and these UVs, you also do not want to have anything overlapping. Okay, that's that's kind of important. All right, last thing we want to do, we'll give this a try and see how it works, is I'm going to grab the head itself to shell and click apply. And that worked pretty well. If I wanted a little bit less distortion, I can click and grab these edges and the bottom of the neck, things that are going to be hidden that I'm not going to see a lot of, and I don't, I don't really need to worry about there being a seam there. I can cut it, go to UVs, go to Shell, and try unfolding again. And that will make things a little bit easier to deal with in the face. Okay, so with that in mind, what we've done is we've created our shells. We've basically UV mapped half the head. And we've created some fairly decent shells. What we're going to do in the next video is we're going to mirror the head, then we'll mirror the UV map, and then we will be done.